But racism is man's gravest threat to man. The maximum of hatred for a minimum of reason. Complex ambition. Beautiful music, painted pictures, this be my bitch. This is this Ooh. week's paid promoter snippet. I'm a boss away, I'm moving, no, I'm never static. I got the code, I crack it open, that shit automatic. I bring the heat, but I don't need it, bitch, I'm never lacking. I shot the world and have it turned to spending all the taxes, yeah, I planned it. Boss away, I'm moving, no, I'm never static. I got the code, I crack it open, that shit automatic. I bring the heat, but I don't need it, bitch, I'm never lacking. Like what you heard, be sure to click down below in the description. And also feel free to email us at complexambition401 at gmail. Bam! Guys, before we get into the video, we just want to say we're running a quick contest. $100 goes to the winner. Please, please, please check that out if you want to win $100. It's called Read My Lips. Right there, you guys. All you have to do is literally read our lips. The video is up now. Complex Ambition YouTube. Look it up. Subscribe also to the channel to compete. Please read all the contest rules in the description of that video on YouTube. And also, more of the same contest coming soon. So stay tuned. You guys could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us today again. Complex Ambition. Sound. My name is YI. Thank you guys for joining us, especially during these trying hard times. Everybody out there, please stay safe and prayed up. But we're bringing you this new album, Lil Boat. Lil Boat. Three. A continuation to the series. We had the first installment in 2016, Little Boat 1, and we had the second one, Little Boat 2, I believe 2018, two years ago. And man, Little Boat 1, I can argue to be his best project thus far. And every time he drops after that, we've been very critical of him because musically, this man, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like, and every time you talk about it, it can come off as hate. But it's really not hate. It's just niggas is trying to pinpoint what it is about Yachty, man. Like, Little Boat 2, if you want to keep it in that series, Little Boat 2 was bad. Like, it was bad. The best songs were the features, NBA Young Youngboy, Trippy Red. And, like, that's not a good thing. You know, same happened with the Nav album when we talked about that. Like, when mm -hmm. you're an artist, you want to shine on your own, obviously, because that's who you are. Not because you selected a good feature and you got a good beat, etc. You also want to have that fucking... Mm, this is that Yachty shit, you know, and there's been hints of him alluding to that. He's getting back in that bag We did react to Oprah's bank account We didn't really like it that much, you know, but I, I kind of see where he was trying to go there You know, like it, it had that early on Yachty a couple of my friends uh, Edwin, etc. A lot of people were telling me like oh, it does have that bounce like the uh, You can ban at me, baby. Oprah bank bank account like it had that little bounce, but to me and I think to the public, because at the end of the day, look at where it's at. I don't see it anywhere. It's in the, people are not talking about it ever since it dropped. It had the baby, and it had Drake on it. You would have thought it would have been an instant smash, instant whatever. But it really didn't, you know, have much legs. You don't see it being played anywhere or anything at all. But now we have a whole album. Did we expect that? <sighs> did we expect that, that song to smash? I it wasn't I, a good I song. I think he probably did. He probably did. Because of the features, bro? Because he dropped randomly. So it was. I felt like he had so much confidence. Because that's why it was like, throw me off. He dropped like on a Monday or some shit. I was like, this nigga thinks this shit going to be a hit. But I don't think it is, man. I, I don't it th wasn't. I don't, it's like, it's not. I, 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 don't, I don't mean to sound like harsh on this kid. But like, I appreciate Yachty. I love how he's turned his life around. I love that he's made, you know, what he's made with music. I love it, bro. Like, it's beautiful. God bless. But my thing is, I don't see the appeal in his music. Yeah. I see the appeal in him as a person. As a person. Yeah. Little Yachty, little boat. Very, even the super earlier on, the super braids dope. and shit, the colorful braids. Super dope. Commercials. Yeah. It's fire. Dope. But. His music. Mmm. If we want. Uh, uh, Especially mm. on the label, you got Cardi Control, QC. You know, little, Fantastic label. Little, one of the little, best right now. Yeah, exactly. Little, if not little, little Baby, Little Baby is the top artist of the year. You know, and we have the Migos, always going to be the Migos. And we have Yachty. And, like, he's kind of been, like, the like the level down of that label, in a sense, you know. As he still gets respect. That's the thing. But that's also... Yeah, exactly. No he one's saying that you respect, don't get respect. Major respect, to but be it's honest. But, like, musically, you know, it is what it is. I think you know it yourself. That's why this time around, you're, you're trying to, like, you know, go back to basics, in a sense, but still be harder. Mm. That's what I'm getting from the tweets and everything you're saying. And this time around, you don't even have colorful hair no more. Like, you're trying to be oh, more yeah? serious or something. Yeah. yeah. We're going to get into this, man. 19 tracks. Long-ass album. I'll tell you that much. We just listened to Freddie Gibbs. So this might be even a tougher listen than we thought it might be. Uh, but at the end of the day, fuck it, man. We're going to get into this shit. A lot of fucking features on this shit, yeah. too. 
This is going to be crazy. Like always, we're going to try to go in this open-minded. If we hear something we like, we're going to like it, period. Not because it's like him yeah. or is somebody else. No, it's because we appreciate the music. We like it. Here we go. Let's stop fucking fucking around. Top down track one. Top down, starting off the album. Uh, I don't think it's a good song. I think it's, <laughs> it shows a potential, but I don't think it's a good song. Uh, I don't think it showed potential. I think it showed a different Top side down. of him. I think it showed a different side of him. No, I think it's the same side. I think that's, that's that voice, squeaky shit. I think that's what he's trying to show. Like, like this is like harder. It's like harder. You know? Well, maybe it's because of the beat, but like the beat's definitely hard, but the voice is like that squeaky shit. So it's like definitely juxtaposed. He usually when he does that voice, his beats are really like. Very kiddish, and we have a friend who's an artist, and that's why uh, it reminds me of him because early on he would do the same type of cover arts using kind of like toy cars, maybe toy dolls. And Yachty did that with his early SoundCloud shit. That's what I loved about Yachty. I was like, damn, this shit's dope. And he would literally sample Rugrats and like yeah. Nickelodeon shit, and that's what it was like, wow. And that's why people were like, oh, he's the mumble rap king of music, or like he's the poster child of youth rap, right? But it's like, but does he deserve that title? I didn't like it too much. We're gonna keep it rolling. Walk in stock. Got a stick way too big, I can kill a fox. Hundred thousand sixty eight, saw my ass to me, these in my clock. I got me no Lamborghini, it came with remotes. Yes, my bitch came from overseas, but fucking she get choked. Oh, Kizzy. This bitch geeking off of school, but she miss Frizzy. I got a nigga that get shit done. Tweeting on my phone and I don't know what's going on. Not gonna lie, the beats are magnificent. Oh my if you really God, think about hard. it, like give me this shit instrumental, I might rap myself. But my God, these lyrics, I don't know what's going on. He's saying a lot of shit I don't fucking understand. I don't know what the who's Miss Fushishi, some shit like that. Like as as if he's not, he's trying to rap, but he's not trying to rap. Like he's not really trying to be lyrical, but he's trying to rap. He's trying to rap. Be but it's like say something, like... say something that like I don't know. This is crazy. This is crazy. Nigga. My thing is like if if, if nineteen if, records. Fuck, Ooh. fuck, fuck. We're gonna get to this next song. This is like two and one, I believe. It's called Split slash Whole Time. Seven a piece soda. The niggas inside they gon' have to the heat is over. Out to the beat is over. Tushin up back same price. My mink sofa. And I'm more like the king oh, top. Oh. My dog, I don't have to think it over. <laughs> This shit crazy, what the fuck going on? I'm around to the beat, it's over Tushin' up back, same price, my mink so And I'm more like the king coke okay. Swimming on my dog, I didn't do the rest Got some bitches in Budapest Strap them kids, they walk around wearing bullet vests Yeah, I'm gonna open them up like some use next Give me time, baby, keep the sex My dick get bigger when I see a money check Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh Look, that be like me, I'm a millionaire Stay around dirty, around town like a millionaire All of my bigger ice me so right there, you know, that song was hard. The first half was the hard. The first half was hard. The beat is so hard. The beats is so good. The second beat was like a like a the baby type beat. Mm hmm And I, I don't know why why it. he why he swapped it um like one fourth of the way. Yeah. I thought he was gonna do like halfway, literally make it two songs, or yeah. maybe towards the end, like people usually do. Yeah. But that split shit in the beginning was so hard. Yeah, man. The that highlight shit was hard. so far. Why do you think it was hard? I think it was hard because it was much more relaxed, it was much more confident. I think, yeah, I think he was really going hard, uh, and if you see the visual, the visual is hard too. Like oh, has a visual? Playboard, yeah, Playboard Cardi is in the visual with him hanging out, so it's like they recorded it a while ago. Yeah. It's so hard, but it was, it's like, it, it was it's a like, different why? vibe. Does he not know that that's hard? Does he not know that that's so yeah. hard that you could put that by yourself, make it a, a, a song? Fuck, man. And like, I think he knows that's hard. So it's like, why you give us the first two records? And now we got this record. First uh, features thus far, ASAP Rocky, Tyler Crater, and Tierra Wack. Now, we just heard Tyler Crater on Freddie Gibbs' album. Go check out that reaction. Tyler Crater has been on a motherfucking run with these verses. Yeah. So it was bound to be good. Tierra Wack is Tierra Wack. We love Tierra Wack. We Shout out to heard, Philly. Haven't heard ASAP in a bitch. Haven't heard Rocky in a bitch. And that might be a good thing. Stick to that fashion shit. I don't know what's going on with you, my nigga. Music hasn't been your thing recently. Hopefully, you might get it back in your bag. You might be, because you can. 
But this is called TD. I don't know what TD is. We know we have a different term for TD over here. 100%. Talent development. I don't know if that's what this means. This is Little Yachty and Tierra Wack. Touchdown? Maybe. Featuring ASAP Rocky and Tyler Creator. So I guess it's Tierra Wack song too. That's mm. weird how they did that shit. Shout out to Tierra Wack. I really love you. <laughs> Facts. 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 <laughs> Sound like slump, uh, team as a slump god. I'm gonna be a minute before I walk in. Uh, I'm gonna be a beast before I turn to Shit! Oh, the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a beast before I turn to uh, I'm gonna be a front and back in. Uh, <laughs> Oh God, that's, that's crazy. But she was the sweet and so simple. When it was just churches and candles. I'm running the maps, I run it like laps. They running in laps. I may overlap and won't double back. Cause my bitch is bad. I'm rich alone as a wrist. I'm saying it. Damn. Cause you don't see any beat up, boy. I talk oh. that, but I don't like guns. I talk love. Niggas came second to me, they so sour. Had a slow climb, that's why they all doubt them. It still came out on top. Now that's power. Still got my soul in, still got the check like. Blame, blame, bitch, I feel like Juve. Raw as fuck, bitch, I feel like sushi. That's ego, ego, be a hot potato. Y'all small fries, for example. No. I'm that nigga. Bitch. I did it all with a passion. I'm a guard in the spaghetti. Oh, Niggas trying to fit shit. in with their arms. I'm a big guy. 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 i am a big guy 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 i am Cause it's entertaining. You got that shit, nigga. You got that shit off, nigga. That nigga got that shit off and left. Oh, oh man. My god. Tyler killed that shit. Oh my god. ASAP had the f fucking weakest w bars there, and they yes, were still not yes. bad, but they were weak. At least he took a break off of slipping off semen, and he came back to basics. <laughs> Slipped on the beat, but you're back on semen again, my nigga. Back on semen, but then Sierra bodied it. Sierra bodied that shit, man. Tyler came with that hard shit, but Tierra came with that rap. Fuck. She sound like Jid. She sound just like Jid. Being there, more, more freedom than a white man. Fucking on a bitch, just sound like a hype man. Look for a fly, nigga, I want you to type in. From my bank and not my insta, bitch. Listen. Don't like how he ended that shit. Yeah, he, so he ended, he came back and ended it. Okay. Damn, you should let Tierra end it. should let Tierra end it. It was still not bad, though. Yeah, his talk about best song. Fucking, he's, fucking, he's fucking a bitch. She's like a hype man. And That's his when you fucking sister's as white as milk. Is that a fact? Damn. That nigga has albino family butt line. Listen, um, the best song so far. Wow. Probably one of the best songs in recent times, to yeah. be honest. Like, it's really memorable. I love the posse cut element of it. Um, reminds me of, I think it was called Three, 327, the song off West Side Guns album. It's uh, Joy Badass and Tyler Creator. And Tyler Creator, man, like he's that nigga with Fuck these verses, huh? Man. Nigga might be the rapper of the year. Like, what's going on with these verses? Like, this nigga is going crazy. I don't even know what TD stand stood for, still. Tierra's connection was fire. You know, we needed that female energy. And not only that, she's she she's one of the strongest rappers in the rap game she, at this she, moment. She out rapped all them niggas. Woo! Out rapped all them niggas on that track. Features again. Mike will made it in future. This is called Pardon Me. And it's such a good future song. Like the whole whistle shit. Really like, memorable. Like it's like, woo, woo. <laughs> like only future do some shit like that and be fire. Yeah. And then Yachty does his verse, but it's like, it comes and goes. He's rapping better than he rapped before. Mm -hmm. He's rapping better than he rapped before, but still, that's future song. Demon time. That's what a lot of motherfucking females, unfortunately, have been on during this quarantine. Didn't we get demon, uh, de something with demon? Uh, on, uh, oh, we got future. demons. Demons, Demons. Okay. Uh, with a, a Drake, the Drake album. This here is featuring Draft Day. Never heard of him, 
I thought that was a thing, not a person. Total, don't wait for me. Your time is up. Better seven, please. I just ran up me an eighty piece. Wow. Y'all threw twenty thousand on twenty five strangers. Ain't right back. You see, prepare me for the danger. My strap is two faces so bad I can feel it. See the true colors. I cut every finger. Oh, he's going here. Yeah. About to plant the years on six months like baby Sabini. She rock with my thing like there might be a genie. I can't take a bad dress from bitch to my mama. I'm around my neck like the room like a candle. Don't get too close if it's six to us. I love it like Uzi. Yeah. That shit was hard. It was hard. Uh, it draft, draft me, day. Draft day went hard. It reminded me of Uzi. Yeah. You know. Uzi does his like normal like. Yeah. Maybe it's one of Yachty's boys, one of Yachty's artists. He doesn't have a, a little label, you know. But then again, it's that feature shit. And this time around, it's a feature that we don't even fucking never heard, even heard of. Outshining him, to be very honest, on a, on a record. Like it, it was, and it was so refreshing to hear. So it's like, oh, you're going to pay attention to that more than Yachty. Yeah. And that's a problem. And it's not it's not necessarily the biggest problem. Um, the problem here is that it looks as if he can't do things by himself. That's the only problem. It's great to have features and it's he can be the DJ Khaled of the rap. But that's game. what I'm trying to say. Like you got good connections, you know how to make orchestrate shit. You made yeah. that posse cut. Maybe you should just do that. Yeah. You know? Or maybe just don't get don't feel such a blowback when you get criticized mm. off your rapping because whenever he gets features he flows with the features like he gets their like vibe and exactly. he grow, he vibes with them it's, it's beautiful to see yeah but when he's really by himself i think he tries to prove himself yeah and this one by himself black jesus damn we yeah. not <laughs> trying to prove himself <laughs> Really hard beat. Man, man. He literally said these young niggas' music is trash cans. He's talking about other people's music, nigga. I don't want to talk about yours because I don't want to insult you. And that's the problem. Because niggas take this shit to heart, huh? You better not, nigga, because this shit's real life. We're not fucking lying. It's called From Down Bad. I about the cold. It's the cold. Because what the fuck? We're gonna say the same shit again and again and again and again? This was by himself again. Love Jones. Hey, I produce a credit to hey, My bitch to town. Said I fucking for 10 minutes, then I get gone. She want me around cause I'm a ring Yo, bitch, bring your money and blow. My bitch two tone. And I want my dogs like a chew bone. You're a chew bone, nigga? <laughs> you ever comparing yourself to alright. She want me around cause I'm her ringtone. That's a lie, but keep going. Ears blinging, teeth chrome. Me and my bitch got understandings. This ain't Love Jones. It's not connecting, dog. It's not connecting. You're a chew bone, nigga. You compared yourself to chew bone. Like he's really trying to rap, right? Like he's really trying to show niggas like, yo, I can rap this and that. But he can rap better than this. He can rap. He's better freestyled. He really goes hard when he wants. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna be super like. We're not gonna just go over this shit. No. We literally listen to. Fucking Alfredo, the album. Lady Gaga, we listen to everything. Can't go again by himself. <coughs> Fuck, this shit got me dying. Wow. The hook is good, that one's hard. The, the hook, hook is, is good. good. The verse is kind of. Uh, Kind of lets it down again, but I like it. I like it, especially compared to all everything else. Like, uh, this guy. By himself. Everything else by himself. Oh, man. It seems like really fucking, like, the collaborations where he shines, and that's a good thing to know where you shine. That's really good. But these shits by yourself, dog. My the God. verse is really deflated. The verse is, because he has really good hooks. Yeah. He had good. He has good sound in the hooks. He's melodic. Yeah. But in the, in the verse, you have to rap. So that's where it's like a challenge for him, I guess. Mm. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Next song, here's our reaction. Continue watching the trash. Um, I'm, I'm, is, I'm okay with not trash. That Fucking disrespect me, Lil Yachty. Fuck you, nigga. The, uh, Oprah's bank account. A pretty big record for the anticipation of these major features. But, like I said early on, it didn't have no longevity, no legs. Like, yeah. it's not growing. You know, 
And I don't think it's that good of a record because of that reason, you know. And it, I mean, that reason proves it. Because, like, we weren't lying. Like, I don't know. People thought we were kind of hating. I don't, it's not no, hate. No, 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 no. Even the video. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, we didn't it like the video. Good. It's yeah. entertaining for the moment. For the moment, but it's like. <sighs> like, did you. Like, come on. Like, did you know the song wasn't too good? So you needed the video to be entertaining. You needed these clickbait shit type of shit, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know. You can get in your bag, nigga, but it's like you don't want to sometimes. Little Key, another feature. This one's called Range Rover Sports Truck. Yeah, you wanna come out here? I would say one of the best records on the song on the album thus far. Little Key, I like Little Key. That's um Young Thug's artist. Yeah, you can definitely see the influence. Yeah, they're going back and forth there. Um, the hook was good. Uh, uh, Range Rover Sports Truck, Range Rover Sports Truck, Bentley Bang Tiger, I've been sipping Jaegers. So it was like the nigga, he might have to do country music because he's almost like a country artist, you know, when he gets into those melodies. <laughs> To be very honest, I never said the Jaeger in my life. Oh man, he, he said they right there. He's gonna say like that. And where are you? Are think about go hardy are. <laughs> he said white picket fence for my neighbors. Okay, the black, black. I think black tall picket fence. Oh shit, well, black shit. one. Yeah, I think it was black. That nigga lives in a castle. Again, a song by yourself, Lemonhead. I'm a young high boy, go sleep like BG. For what them niggas saying, I know they need me. Like mama had. It's like draining, like it's kind of like luster. Like it doesn't have replay value at all. I'm not crazy. No, I'm not. Yeah, we're not. My thing is, you know why we're not crazy? Because immediately we know when something hits our ears the right way. We know when this shit hits our ears. That 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 little yeah. hook, that little melody he did with that song with Tyler and shit, ASAP. Yeah. That was beautiful. That's different. You wanted to replay that shit instantly. But these shits, man. It's, the only thing I look at here is when it's gonna finish. That's what yeah. I'm looking at. It's crazy, though. Fuck, man. A get by is a get. Uh, don't forget. Fuck. By himself. You're a motherfucker fool, nigga. These beats are crazy, though. That one was dope. The beat was uh, slower. Started off hard, but then it got slower. Yeah. And then he started with his normal voice. And he has something to say here. Yeah. Like, you don't got to add no auto tune or nothing on that one. And it was dope. Yeah. You know? But obviously, he's going to. Everything else is going to, like, dilute it. It's fucking 19 records. It's a lot of music. Yeah. Up there, music by himself again. Niggas do the most, they be out of line. She ride dig like a pony, I genuine. Give a cannon on his arm like Metroid Prime. Then I pop my shit with every single line. Think I'm done, why? Think I'm up a loop. She too high, she took 10 strings. Damn. Baby girl, don't die on me. Oh. What the fuck? What? Holy shit! She took ten shrooms. She about to overdose. Nigga, he said, "Baby girl, don't, don't die, die on me. me. Look me in the eye." Nigga, you better call the hospital. My God, you better be a uh, an asset to uh, murder. Uh, uh, he grabbing her head, baby girl. Don't That's die on me. Accessory to murder. Oh my God, you're gonna get a fucking felony, my nigga. God, God, damn. You take care of yourself and take care of people around you, dog. Damn, your ass gonna get hit with a charge. <laughs> God bless. Too high, she took 10 strong. Oh, that's the hook. Nah, oh, man. Man, up there music though, but I like it though. It like, was it's different. It's different. It's really different. <laughs> that sh that shroom line is obviously Holy the shit. left field, the <laughs> motherfucking catcher. Shit. Like that's wild. Um, oh my God, baby girl, don't die on me. My lord, look me in the eye. Oh, this shit got dark. Like that's a Griselda bars. Oh my God. <laughs> Four to last record by himself again. Damn, man, music. West Side. Oh, oh, 
She don't wanna see her son taken away from his blood. Purple toxic liquid, all I be that just a Straps on me, I'm nervous, I need protection. Feel like a teenage girl. West side, west side, west side, west side. Bad bitch wanna take a picture, said, hold on, baby, it's my good side. It's hard as fuck. Hard as fuck. Damn. Hard as fuck. If this nigga really would have uh, condensed this album to, let's say, like 10 tracks. And you have yeah. seven good songs. Yeah. And then you can argue maybe three fillers within that 10 track. This would have been a great album. But, like, it's too many songs. It's way too many songs. No, but no, nobody's going to sort through them. Nobody's, unless no. you're true fan base, but that's hard. Your, your goal is to gain followers from your new music. That's crazy. That man. was hard. That was hard as fuck. West Side was hard. Hard. Third to last song right here, To The Morning, featuring Young Thug and Little Dark. Last features on the album. They think I'm going on hard. I'm talking Gucci Gucci. Cause we don't do a rabbit. They got my half a hell of broski. Yeah. I should do a speak into the mom. I should do a speak into the mom. Michael Jackson. Yeah. 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 That was a good song. That's a good song. It's a really good song. The hook is like two hooks, him and Dirk, and then Young Thug sounding a magnificent. Mag Michael Reminds Jackson. me of what was it when he did that song? Uh, good times, it's gonna be some good times. Man, we used to pull up and let him fight at that hood time. If you made this shit condensed, yeah. You have a lot of dope moments, yeah. but everything else is like, ooh. Yeah. yeah. You say this critique because we see the positives in here. We see the positive, we see the potential. Second to last song. Woo! Child. I don't wanna be friends, that's the old I thought I'd be better by my side, let you know. Uh, uh, uh. She was sucking my delight. Uh, uh, uh. Niggas trying to stab my girl. See that right there? I don't know. Mm. Mixed with that one. Yeah. Overall bad though. Let's be Here's the last song on the album. Concrete Boys. Don't know what this means. I saw this has been like one of his Instagram or Twitter names for a while. Concrete Boy something. So hopefully it's good. The beat, I love that beat. That beat is so crazy. Like if someone else got on that beat, like that that beat, man. And even the phrase though, I understand that back against the wall, concrete boys. Yeah, you grew up in the streets, I guess it's a fact. You know, niggas come from hard beginnings. That's that's relatable. We understand that. 100%. But it's the way you do things, Yachty, man. Man, it's We crazy. saw your highlights. We saw your downsides. Now it's time to condense this shit. You know what I'm saying? And you could have made this a shorter album, dog. Yeah, man. Even just directly looking at the track list, you have track number two. No, track one and two, bad. Yeah. Three, we like that. Split, especially the beginning. Um, maybe just only the beginning. Four. I say this has a classic feel. I love Absolutely. that shit. That posse cut. I love that Absolutely. shit. That should have been single. I don't know why that's not a single. Five. You can put in that condensed because of the future. Like, he shines so hard. Demon Time. Again, you can put in that condensed yeah. version. Draft Day was going crazy. He, he, he spazzed out. Seven through ten, you can keep. You know, those four records, throw them away. Eleven. Wait, hold up. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Eleven. I guess you can keep. You know, because of the it's Drake. Yeah, you can keep that Oprah's for whatever account. it is, yeah. whatever it means. Little Keed. He he did hard. well. He did well. He did hard. He, he was hard. Um, that hook was hard. But then we go down again. Skip the next two. Wait, what's the don't forget? Don't forget. Uh, I don't know, but we definitely forgot it. Yeah. I can tell you that much. Up there, music had potential. Yeah, had I potential. like that. I like the title. It's like up there, but it's like, is this gonna be up there music? I don't think it was up there music. No, it was kind of down there music. But. It, we can be in there. Yeah. West Side. Absolutely. Highlightable. Absolutely. Highlightable. Till morning. 
fucking phenomenal. Like, young th- it was good. Yeah. It was a good ass single vibe. So what is that so far? One. Probably nine. If you take away Woodchild but add Concrete Boys, you got a nice little EP, yeah. a nice or project. No, it's, a, it's album. an album. It's an album. album. Nine songs. You know, take away the ten records. But then again, nine out of nineteen. My nigga, that's a 45 in high school. Any any school. It's a fail. You know, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's it. You know, are we trying to pass at least, class? Or at that point, that's when the teachers start oh, calling the parents. Oh, man. They got a question if you're retarded. <laughs> that shit gets real. Yeah, this nigga got an idea of 45. What's <laughs> going on to boy? It's just a fact, you know. If we're breaking it down like that. You know, musically, the beats were banging. The magnificent beats. The beats were banging. Man, the hooks were banging. Fucking Earl on the beat, that's his producer. Phenomenal. Yeah. He had Pierre again, classic. He used to work with him early on yep. SoundCloud. Yep. Shout out to Pierre Bourne. Yep. Had a lot of dope production. Mike Will, he killed that beat, you know. But you can't rely on beats. You are a rapper, right? So you have to rely also by your on yourself, like on your verses, on your hooks, on you, your identity. And it wasn't as strong as album. What I would say is focus on the positives, enhance those positives, and if you want to enhance the negatives, that's for you to decide. Yes. If you want to enhance your rapping capabilities, nigga, get back in the studio, get practice, and do these things that J. Cole does. Yeah. The best practice. Because you know it, it wasn't a zero, you know. No, it, it wasn't a zero, nigga. It you still you, had moments. Honestly, you shocked me by just the amount of good tracks on there, the potential exactly. that you had on there. You shocked me, to be honest. I think it's his, his uh, he had the potential to make it his best project, to be honest. Yeah. Hopefully, please, do not make it a deluxe. A lot of artists have been doing deluxe yeah. albums, and that's just whack because it's not what a deluxe used to be. A deluxe used to be a couple remixes and a few bonuses. Now niggas are doing a whole nother body yeah, of work no. just for streams. This motherfucker, Lord, Lil Herb, G. Arvo, dropped another 14 I'm not listening tracks? to that shit. I'm, 14? Not, I'm not listening to that shit. No. You guys are ruining your discography. When people go back and listen to these albums, yep. We're gonna listen to two out. Like no. it's, it's whack. No. You know, Uzi did it and it was dope because it was a whole nother album. Yes. But then all these other artists are doing it. Yeah. Like, god damn it. Like no. it's getting it's getting played out. Yeah. So Yachty, at least don't do that. Yeah. At least. But yeah. guess what? You're not gonna listen. And guess what? Little Bo 3 Deluxe coming soon. I already see the tweet <laughs> in my head. I like the cover art. I like the color schemes. I like your videos you've been doing. So as far when it comes with that, you're not missing. Aesthetically, you've always been the guy. Aesthetically. Exactly. Always you've been. You've always been the dope cover guy, art guy. You always been fire with your artistic elements. But musically, again, guys, it's a miss. Let's get back to the yeah. to the batting cage. Let's get back to the gym. Shoot them hoops. Let's yeah. get back to the basics. Got to start again from the top if yeah. you want to improve that. Yeah. If not, focus on your positives and keep on going rocking with them. Yeah. You're really good at bringing people together, doing collaborations. You flow with these niggas naturally. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. If that's going to be a strong suit, then let it be a strong suit. Maybe get into production. Learn how to produce. I think he does produce. That's what I'm trying to think. Like, yeah. I think maybe he does already. Like... You know, you can get a lot of money and a lot of shit. He different. does. He does. So you know, God bless you, bro. We only wish the best for you. We just know the potential you have. And there has to be a reason that we know people fuck with you. 100%. But we're not going to be exploited out here in the streets listening to bad music because niggas no, like you. No. No. Uh-huh. No. You know, Yachty is not top tier. He's not hot musically. I'm sorry. And that's just is what it is. We love you, though, regardless, brother. If you reach out, feel free to reach out Absolutely. because it's not hate. It's all love. It's Absolutely. just criticism. Absolutely. Sorry for the honesty. Numbers Ambition, guys, comment down below. How do you guys compare it to his previous projects? Feel free to share your opinions with us. Combat us, debate us, whatever it might be. Reach out on all social medias. We're there. Hit the notification bell for more videos coming soon. And until next time, we love you guys. Your baby daddy broke, he eat Cheerios. I'm a record breaker. New whip with no CD player. Fuck niggas can't.